Hi, I am Kani Reza and welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. We have been talking about insects and we have been observing insects. As you can see, a whole bunch of little insects here on my table. This is an experiment that I want to share with you that is excellent for children to be investigating throughout the whole week or the two weeks, three weeks, whatever length of time your unit or insects are. What I, am, what I have here in front of me are some live crickets. We had been talking about plastic insects. They had observed plastic insects, but I also want them to be observing really live insects. So these are crickets. Crickets are very inexpensive. You can purchase them in any pet store, medium, small, or large and they will last for a good two weeks if you provide enough food in there. So this is what I would share with the children. These are live crickets. It's another insect that we're going to be studying this week. And I have uh, an apple and an orange. And what we're going to be observing this week is what do crickets like to eat? Do they like to eat apples or they like oranges? Also, where do they get the water from? And can we put other kind of food in here? But since we're gonna be since we know that, that insects like fruit, they love fruit, that's why we're gonna use these two types. And I'm gonna I cut off a about a, a eighth or a quarter of a piece of an orange. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place the slice of orange on one end of the K of the little container of the crickets. As you can see my little crickets jumping up and down there. This is something very fascinating to children. And now I am also going to cut another piece of apple. And I'm going to place the apple on the other end of my container. What's going to be very interesting is that we're going to see which fruit the cricket prefers. Now I want you to look at my chart. Which foods do crickets like to eat? The way we're going to be observing this is I'm going to assign groups on Monday that will be observing the crickets throughout the day. Every time they go, they're going to be doing a tally. Oh, I see three crickets on the apple three crickets on the orange. Then at the end of the day, I will take a tally, like on Monday, I will take, I will do the tallies and I will make the tallies right under the apple on the number of crickets that were observed throughout the day from that specific group and then how many crickets were on the orange. So on Tuesday, I'm going to call another group of maybe four children. I'm going to say, okay, Johnny, Susan, Cindy, and uh, Tommy. The four of you are going to be observing the crickets today. And I want you to make a tally every time you see crickets on the apple and then on the orange. And every time you, you, you see them there, count the number of crickets that are on that fruit and you make a little tally. At the end of the day, we will come here on Tuesday, and I'm going to say, okay, from those four children, how many crickets in total did you observe throughout the day on the apple? And maybe they're going to say, maybe Johnny saw three crickets, and maybe Cindy saw two crickets throughout the day, maybe Tommy saw one cricket. Now let's look at the orange. How many did you, did you observe? Oh, maybe I saw three crickets on the orange. Oh, maybe I saw one, two, three, four. Uh, Cindy would might, might say that. So each day we continue to add the tallies so that by the end of the week we will find out which fruit was a favorite for the insects. I mean for the crickets. We know that on Monday, the favorite was apples, right? 
but maybe on Tuesday the favorite is going to be oranges and I wonder why. And as the week progresses, this is very good for children to be predicting, to be anticipating. Oh, it's not really apples at their favorite. It looks like it's orange, but maybe by Wednesday, maybe we're back to the apple. But then remember, the orange starts drying up, or the apple starts drying up. So could that make a big difference? So as you talk about this experiment every day, it is great to do that type of investigation. And children will continue to investigate throughout the week. This is an excellent higher order thinking, excellent for compare and contrast the apple with the orange, and excellent for interactive among each other as a group and comparing with each different group. So I challenge you to have crickets in your classroom. They are very easy to care for and also provide the children ample time to just observe and look at the crickets jumping up and down and, and the different, again, characteristics of the crickets. Thank you and uh, I look forward to hearing how the experiment is going for you.